Good tonight, a man describes fighting off five dogs while taking his friend's poodle just for a walk. That poodle suffering numerous bite marks. And as ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon reports, the dogs acted aggressively once officers arrived. An emergency vet visit costing more than $4,000 after a pack of dogs attack a four-year-old poodle for nearly 20 minutes. He has holes and deep ones throughout his body, uh, especially head and neck and feet and tail. Brian Choate took his friend's dog, Kuro, for a walk in a Seminole Heights neighborhood when the attack happened last week. I saw one dog come firing at me and that dog happened to be a pit bull terrier. He walked the dog through this side alley and he was about to make a right hand turn here on Woodlawn when he heard commotion coming near that stop sign. The next thing he knew, a dog charged at him. Of course, the dog got to me very quickly and when he did, I picked up my Kuro, the poodle, and wheeled him around sort of in this fashion. According to an animal control incident report, the pack of dogs belonged to a man who was homeless. The report says five dogs broke free, attacking the poodle. Finally, a man came out with some pepper spray and he started just unloading that bottle onto the dog's faces. Kuro is on medication and barely moved when we saw him. Choate suffering bite marks too. I had wounds in my hands, wounds on my forearms. I have wounds to my sides. A county spokesperson tells me the owner surrendered his dogs. The county has possession of them. They are in quarantine. I would implore people, do not just leave your house with man's best friend, a leash, and a plastic bag. That's not enough. I learned the hard way. As for Kuro, he is slowly getting back to normal, like enjoying a breeze from a car window. Reporting in Tampa, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.